and I just want to edit 4K in Final Cut Pro without crazy amounts of lag, and I need to just move forward with my 2012 PC, so I uh, hope you guys do enjoy, I guess, I don't want to say documentary, but my journey on building this, this Akintosh, and I just realized that I'm driving the wrong way, so I have to make, I don't have to make a U-turn, I can just go a different way. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Micro Center to try and help me with the Hackintosh that I'm building. So I got the cheapest mouse that I could. It's just a USB-C mouse by Verbatim. Uh, this is the cheapest one they had. I just needed something that I can plug directly into my motherboard because I have a wireless one, but I noticed last time I was doing it, it was getting a little bit of hiccups. Mouse, as well as this wire, wired keyboard. As well, I believe it's Mac Ally is how you pronounce it. Um, it's just a really basic uh, keyboard that is going to be set up with my computer at the initial boot time. And then next, what I really want, I want a Space Gray uh, Magic Keyboard and Trackpad, but unfortunately the only one that they had for Space Gray was the keyboard. So this is the Magic Keyboard. Um, I do a lot of work in Excel and Google Sheets. I like to mess with a lot of numbers, so that's why I have the number pad. And it's the Space Gray Edition, so hopefully if the Hackintosh is stable enough for me, um, I will try and connect this uh, Magic Keyboard. Um, I got a 512 gigabyte SSD. Um, I'm just gonna plug this in through SATA because I don't have too many PCIe slots available, as well as I don't wanna drop it. Uh, I don't wanna drop this money on this PC specifically because I do intend to move on to Zen 3 as my, I guess, upgrade for my computer. And then I also just got a, um, what's this, a SATA 3 cable to connect from my motherboard to the SSD. And just to give you guys a little bit of context, I have an i7 4790K, um, DDR3 RAM, 16 gigabytes, uh, 5700 XT, I think I might have already said this before. Um, power supplies, pretty much like whatever, you guys don't need to worry about that. Motherboard is MSI. I have heard a little bit of things about MSI not working. Uh, I really just hope AirDrop works. That's my biggest thing. Like I said, I don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a MacBook just to make YouTube videos. So this is my setup for now and you guys will be moved over to the time lapse. So yep, hopefully you guys enjoy. Okay, so first stop, um, I don't have Python installed on this computer, don't judge me. I just wiped this computer about a week ago and it's asking me to install Python 3, but what I'm actually going to do myself is install Python 3 um, through the website itself and add it to the path and rerun this. Right now I'm installing, um, right now I'm running gib macOS, the bat file. Um, I also installed um, OpenCore and the proper tree and yeah, this is just my process so far. Okay, so I don't know if my last video popped up. This is stop number two. I was actually following the macOS install, but I'm on Windows, as you can see, so um, I actually deleted the macOS that I was installing, and I realized that I have to toggle recovery on. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on reading this guide. I basically was just doing macOS, and now I'm moving to Windows install. Sorry about the interruption, but just wanted to clarify this. Also, I got Python installed as well, so don't judge me. All right, so this is stop number three, and I am at the bottom of the Windows install. Right now, I formatted my boot drive using the make install. It is saying that it may take some time, um, so I'm just going to wait, listen to some music, enjoy my time while I wait. Hopefully, it does not take too long, but yep. We are at the bottom, so next I'm going to move over to adding the base open core files. Basically, I'm just gonna go in order. All right, so this is stop number four. As you can see, I have more tabs open, more windows. I'm on the SST, SSDT part, and I'm deciding whether I want to go through the pre-built, automated, or manual. Uh, I'm not gonna do pre-built because, I mean, it's pre-built. Things aren't gonna work off the bat. Uh, 
gonna do this one. I'm going to use the automated tool and see if I can get away with using that. Um, if I do get into some troubleshooting problems, like I won't be able to boot, or I'm not having problems overall on the OS, then I might just scratch everything and go back and doing everything manually. So hopefully automated tools works. Okay, so quick update. It is now 10.48 p.m. I just finished my config P list. That was so lengthy, so much reading. Oh, oh my goodness, this was, that's a lot of documentation, but I got stuck on the device properties. I was really confused about the hex swapping. And then I asked one of the Discord, so help me out. Really appreciate it. I'm just dumb that hex are in pairs when you swap it. Two pairs, whatever. So config P list is done. Sanity check. I'm gonna sanity check first. Uh, basically, I'm gonna keep going through the guide. Uh, then I'm going to have to open up the SSD, put it in my PC. For just sake of measure, I'm just gonna unplug all, everything else that's connected. And yeah, we're going to see what the results are also one thing i want to know is 120 dollars but i got it for like 50 something it was like half off so steal bios time Okay, so my PC's off. I did the config list, did my sanity check. I removed the beginning portions, like the warnings. There was one thing I had, it was something with like the boot, the bootstrap. I set it to none based on the guide, but it said that it should be set to bootstrap. So we're gonna see if that works. But I'm going to boot into my BIOS, enable some settings, disable some settings based on the documentation, reboot, and hopefully we can be in Mac OS. And I, I'm not doing time-lapse for that portion because I want you guys to see my initial reaction because I really want this to work. I really, really want this to work. So here we go. Please, Mac OS, Mac OS. Okay, choose your operating system. Mac OS, Mac OS, Mac OS, Mac OS. Come on. Mac OS, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. It's 11.04, by the way. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Oh, it's still going. It's still going. It's still going. I'm hearing popping from my speakers. Come on. Come on, baby. We're gonna bring up, oh! I was gonna bring up my Mac and do some troubleshooting. Please, show me the Apple logo. Show me the Apple logo. Please, please, please. First try, please. This black screen is taking too long. I don't know what the problem could be. Well, I guess uh, I really want to finish this tonight. Um, I guess I'm going to give a shot at the Discord group to see if anyone can help me there. I do want to do this before midnight, before I go to sleep. But, I mean, at this point, I don't know what I've done wrong. I've done everything to the T exactly the way it's supposed to be. And I'm still just not, it's just not working. <laughs> Okay, so um, no one's answered me back in the Discord, but what I've done is under the UEFI, no, 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 under device properties, I have, <laughs> I changed the, I can't even remember, I gotta look at my phone real quick. 
okay, okay, wait, this is new. Okay, I have the spinning circle. Okay, what I was gonna say is, I'm trying to look up the guide right now because I can't remember uh, what I was thinking. This is good. Um, spinning circle's not good though. Spinning circle's not good. I put my USB from the front now to the back. Um, it's not showing up anymore, which is really weird. I think this is it. I hope it's it. This isn't it. So it looks like my USB installer is no longer showing up on the boot menu, which is really weird. Like, it's not even showing up anymore at all. I don't know why. Uh, I'm just going to boot into Windows again and see if there's anything wrong with the actual USB. I highly doubt it. I don't think anything's wrong with it at all. It's Hackintosh, man. It's something else. Like, it's just not here anymore. I don't understand. Where could it have gone? The only thing I can think of doing right now, unfortunately, is starting from scratch. So it's 12.37 right now, a.m. the next day. And uh, my USB wasn't showing up to boot, so I just wiped it and started from scratch. Main backups, copy and pasted it after I wiped the drive. So hopefully I can see my booter. And of course I still can't. I don't know. I don't know why it's not working now. I really don't know why. And uh, to be honest, I said I wasn't going to sleep until this is over, but I'm tired and I don't care anymore. And I just want to go to sleep. I'm gonna give it one more try, actually. I don't wanna go to sleep. One more try. Start from scratch. And I wanna see what happens. So it is, I'll just show you guys on my phone. Everything, it might be easier to show you my watch, honestly. 1.31 a.m., haven't slept. I said I'm going to reinstall everything from scratch. I did that. And now I hope, I don't even care if macOS boots tonight or not. What I wanna see is just the bootloader. I basically, I basically stayed up all night for nothing because it still doesn't work. It's, it doesn't recognize it. I don't know what the problem could be. It might be the USB. I don't know. I wish I knew. So, before I go to sleep, I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm going to wipe this USB. No, I have another USB I can use actually. I'm gonna use that USB and try to boot from that because I have no idea what's wrong with this USB. It can be read perfectly fine in Windows. I'm getting really frustrated. I just wanna to go to sleep, I'm tired. voice is going away. Can't even excel. 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 Exhale is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I wiped the drive. I wiped the USB that I had. It's still not there. It's almost 2 a.m. Uh, I don't know. What is causing this? <gasps> Excuse me. Okay, last attempt, ladies and gentlemen. I switched my UEFI to U UEFI and Legacy. I see it now. PNY USB 2.0 FDPMAP. 
I'm just gonna get a big, this is all I get, a big, I don't know what you wanna call it. Cursor. Uh, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Um, it was working earlier, barely. I was able to at least open up open core at the least. Now, I can't even do that. I can't even attempt to start Catalina. Right, this is all I get. Ate my bowl of cereal, my bowl of Cheerios to try, try to get some energy. That's all I get. I don't know. Um, I wanna go to sleep. I'm going to enter the Discord once again. It's 2.12 a.m. and I'm done. I'm officially done. I can't get open core to work. I've done everything I could to get this thing to work. I don't wanna say everything because clearly I could do a lot more. If I did everything, it wouldn't be working right now, but I don't know what the issue is for why my USB-C, not USB-C, USB isn't being found. It's, I've done the same thing four times in a row. I've done everything verbatim to the T on that guide. And I don't know what's happening. I've tried all USB ports. I've tried two different USBs. I don't know how I got it to work on the first try. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sleep. I'm done, day one. Hopefully, if I don't get it resolved tomorrow, then no Hackintosh, just got to settle for a thousand dollar Mac. Book. That's how Apple gets you, man. It's a shame. And my hardware is pretty old, so I gotta deal with stuff like this. Anyway, I'm out tomorrow. I'll be back.